Welcome to the JMU Career and Academic Planning Job Search 101 Virtual Workshop. To start, please provide us with some basic information so we can connect with you after you finish the workshop. You'll be presented with some written information, videos, and graphics. We'll ask a few questions along the way to make sure you're learning the material. This digital workshop should take about an hour to complete. If you have any questions or need help, email CAP at CAP or CAP at JMU.edu. To begin, please enter your name, majors and minors, Duke's email, academic standing, and let us know whether you're taking this for a class assignment or credit. Learning Outcomes in this virtual workshop, you'll learn how to identify job search strategies and best practices for researching employers. We will address the following career readiness competencies, career management, critical thinking and problem solving, and oral and written communication. This first section focuses on the seven career readiness competencies defined by the National Association of Colleges and Employers. Where to start? First, know yourself and what you have to offer. Use CAP's online resources at jmu.edu slash CAP or talk with a CAP advisor about self-exploration and career decision making. Think about how you can connect your education and experiences to the skills you need in an area of interest or work. Know what you're looking for. What skills do you have currently or anticipate learning in the future? What are you looking for in an employer? Prepare your professional image. Use CAP's online resources, workshops, or meet with a CAP advisor for resume or cover letter reviews. Remember to ask references if they'll be willing to provide a positive reference for you before you submit their names. Develop your online and electronic professional image through LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, voicemails, etc. Create your professional image. Knowing what is expected or appropriate for your industry can help you determine your attire and appearance. Watch this video to learn more about NACE's seven career readiness competencies. Answer these quick quiz questions to make sure that you're learning the material. Which of the seven career readiness competencies aligns most with the mission of JMU's Ethical Reasoning in Action Program, or eight key questions. Which career readiness competency aligns most with the idea of using your strengths to help others achieve a goal? Section 2. This section focuses on resources and strategies for your job search. CAP Career Resources. CAP provides a number of career resources to help you explore majors and careers, jobs, internships, and check out our appointments and workshops. Read the graphic below to see what we have available. Search Strategies Handshake is the digital platform JMU uses for job listings, on-campus interviewing, career fair information, workshop and event information, and scheduling appointments with CAP staff. You already have an account with your Duke's email. Just log in at jmu.joinhandshake.com to complete your profile. You can also find job listings on the CAP website by major, geographic region, etc. Using Handshake gives you a better chance at getting a job you're applying for since recruiters on Handshake are looking for students and recent graduates. Other job search sites like Indeed aren't built specifically for people like you. Attend the campus-wide career fair held each fall and spring. It's held over the course of two days with different companies each day. Students can see who's attending and what opportunities they're recruiting for by logging on to Handshake. The CAP website also has tips on how to prepare for career fair. Watch the brief video below to learn more about using Handshake to find jobs and internships. The job and internship page on CAP's website has a lot of tools that you can use. Answer the following questions to make sure you're learning the material. True or false? You can make an appointment to meet with CAP staff one-on-one -on -one to discuss your job search. True or false? 
When first using Handshake, you have to make yourself an account and fill everything out, including your GPA and graduation date. Making connections. There is so much more to a job search than submitting resumes. It's all about identifying key opportunities that many times are not posted to the public. Some experts cite figures that 70 to 80% of all open jobs are never advertised to the public. Donald Asher writes in his book, How to Get Any Job, that if you only look for advertised jobs, you're missing half the job market. Advertised jobs are just like the tip of the iceberg, while the rest of the iceberg is invisible. You have to find the hidden job market to run a successful job or internship search. So, how can you learn about positions if they're not publicly advertised? Talk to people, connect, build relationships, and network. This is why the expression that it's not what you know, but who you know can ring true. Employers, if given the choice, would rather interview someone familiar or who has been referred to them. Having a common connection can definitely be in your favor. Using social media in your job search. Social media is a powerful tool to connect you with professionals, alumni, recruiters, and organizations. Make an effort to enrich the content of your page beyond basic information. Make sure your profile and pages are up to date and have appropriate pictures, messages, etc. The brands and people you engage with directly impact people's perception of you and may affect whether hiring managers believe you're worthy of working for their company. LinkedIn can be a great website for learning more about the people who will interview you. You may even find you have friends in common with your future hiring manager. Engaging with industry-specific communities is a great way to connect with other people in your field. When deciding which platform is best for you to use, consider how are you represented on the platform, which one do you enjoy, and which one has the companies you want to connect with. Answer the following question to make sure you're learning the material. Select the best ways to use social media in your job search. Section 3. This final section reviews how to research companies, what to look for in your research, and networking. We'll conclude with some quick tips and next steps. Researching a company. The company's website will be very helpful. Look for information like blogs, press releases, and financial statements to get more specifics about the company. Handshake, LinkedIn, and Google may have brief bios of companies with an overview of the company's purpose, mission, and vision. You may also find news related to the company through a quick Google search. Check social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to see how the company portrays itself to the public. Glassdoor provides salary information, reviews from current and previous employees, and other valuable insights about company culture. Vault.com is a similar service provided to you through CAP. Handshake has a section where other students can share comments about companies. What you can learn about a company. How the organization views itself, including its values, mission, vision, and goals. Its mission. What's important to this company, and why? Their goals. How they work to achieve their goals and prioritize their values. Their vision. How they want to help or solve a problem in the world. And their values. How do they show respect to their employees? More about specific products the company produces to get a better idea of what you would do as an employee. What other employees do and how the employment system is structured. By learning more about the company, you obtain additional insight into what the employer is looking for, how the position you're applying for fits into their goals, and how it might align with your personal career path. Read the company's statements about diversity and anything else that might be important to you. Use your research to develop a thoughtful, detailed cover letter with the model below. Your Resume's Experience section. Watch this video to learn about writing the experience section of your resume, which you should tailor based on the research you've done on the company where you're applying for a job. Company Culture. There are a number of things to consider when evaluating a company's culture, including their non-discrimination policy, and if it changes as you advance within the company. Company-wide education or training to raise awareness about diversity issues. Professional development and training opportunities. Equitable benefits and pay. Employee resource or affinity groups. 
demonstration of public support to diversity in the community, fostering a safe and healthy work environment, and maintaining a balance between work and personal life. Make sure that the company you choose to work for is respectful of you as an individual and meets your needs. Answer the following quiz questions to make sure you're learning the material. Name one document you should revise after researching a company and before applying for a job there. What is something to look for when researching a company? Networking. Building connections. Networking is essentially just sharing information about yourself, your career, and your goals. You can network anytime and anywhere. You already gather information about what professors to take, which restaurants to visit, and the best movies to see. Networking to learn about jobs or other ways you can gain experience is a similar process. You're simply talking to people and making connections. LinkedIn is a great way to start building a network and have a professional presence online. CAP provides a variety of ways for students to interact with employers through regular events and on-campus interviews. JMU also hosts many alumni networking events for students and graduates. Recruiters expect for you to reach out to them and ask questions and make connections. Don't be afraid to track down your own leads. Employers like proactive students, and just by asking around if someone needs an intern, you could end up creating your own internship. Use a table like the one below to keep track of your job search prospects. Include the names of companies and contacts, the positions you're interested in, how you found out about the job, and when you're interviewing. Tips and next steps. Maintain a careful record like the table above that includes job announcements, scheduled interviews, thank you notes you've sent, and what you need to do to follow up. Job seekers who fail to do this often lose valuable contacts and credibility with prospective employers. Keep a record of the jobs you apply for by saving a screenshot or PDF of the job posting. Sometimes they disappear when the company starts interviewing candidates. Answer the following quiz questions to make sure you're learning the material. Which of the following count as networking? What steps should you take after an interview? Next steps. What are your next steps? Consider the following. Update your profile in Handshake. Prepare or update your resume and cover letter. Schedule a virtual appointment with a CAP advisor. Identify three or four references that you can provide to employers. Practice interviewing with InterviewStream online. Or attend CAP's virtual workshops and events. Thank you for completing the workshop. If you have any questions, contact CAP at CAP, that's C-A-P, at jmu.edu, or make an appointment with CAP staff. See jmu.edu slash CAP for more information and resources.